Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other hey guys I'm back again today just to give you a quick recap of the importance of entry okay again if you remember we had to talk about this yesterday in my video wherein I explained how important your entry are okay how important the entry is and if you uh, make sure that the entry is right so many other things will be in sync and you can surely expect a, a good profit booking going forward in that particular trade right now today what happened was i took up a trade in one of the stocks and that was a perfect example of a good entry okay and that is the reason why i thought of making a real quick video to show you again that if you take care of your entry then minting money or uh, you know earning money will not be a big deal for you okay so before we get on to the charts uh, let me open up my telegram channel here okay and i had already mentioned it in my public telegram that star was was the stock on which i traded with okay and the number of shares i was trading with was 8000 shares okay and the profit that i made was 41441.35 rupees okay so we are talking about a 500 rupees script here okay so for a 500 rupees script as i always say i aim for a target of one percent of the scripts price so in this example it will be a five rupees target point right so uh, i i was aiming for after uh, after i made the entry i was aiming for a move of five rupees and that is when i booked my profits actually okay so uh, to be precise i booked my profit somewhere around at five rupees 10 paise or five rupees 15 paise okay so 8000 shares with a profit of five rupees 10 to 15 paise will end up with 41,441 rupees okay so this uh, these were the details about the stock on which i traded how many shares i tra traded with and what is the profit amount i got from that particular trade okay now moving on to the charts so as you can see here this is on the left top corner the stock is star and it is the 15 minutes minutes time frame that we are talking about okay i always trade on a 15 minutes minutes time frame okay so this is how the chart looks like okay so today's date is 5th of august 2020 okay and star opened up with a huge green candle okay now let me talk about as i said i was busy so let me talk about what was the time when i actually had a look on this particular chart it was around 11 or 11 15 when i actually had a look on this particular chart okay because it was showing up in the top gainers okay and i was very much interested to know how much has this script move uh, moved already since the morning and if i see a chance to enter the trade uh, at around 11:30 or 11:45 or not okay so this was the candle or 11 o'clock candle or 11:15 candle okay uh, these are the candles when i actually had a look on how star is performing for the day okay now since the starting of the day this particular guy had already moved 30 points okay if you round up the numbers the move was from 464 to 494 okay so a 400 rupees crip has already given you a move of 30 odd points in intraday so that is a big big deal okay any intraday trader who wants to go long will think many a times before initiating a long position in this particular script right because a 400 rupees script giving you a 30 rupees move in the first half of the day is huge but the question is since it has already given you a 30 rupees move will it move further or not okay as i said 
as I said yesterday, if you are following the right things, if your technicals are strong, if you are making the right entry, then it does not matter how extended the stock is. Okay, so in star, it really did not matter to me whether it has given a 30 rupees move or whether it has already given a 50 to 60 rupees move. My duty as a trader was to wait for the retracement to happen and post the retracement when star again starts moving up that is when i will take the entry as a trader the only thing which i had in my mind at that time was this okay and according to the technicals that i follow my support zone or the support level was at this purple line Okay, so I had, a, uh, as I said, I had a look on the chart at around 11 or 11.15 uh, a.m. So these are the price ranges. Uh, let's say 4.90 was the price when I had a look on the chart. Okay, and my support level was this purple line. So what do I do next? The next thing that I do is to wait for the script to retrace to this particular support level and after it retraces to this particular support level uh, level when it starts moving up that is when i should take the entry and i did the same thing okay from 490 this guy came down to 480 or 81 okay if you see the 1145 candle it's a big red candle it is a retracement candle and this area okay was clearly a consolidation area okay this right starting from 10 o'clock till 11 15 or 11 30 okay was a huge consolidation area it was a perfect consolidation that was happening okay and then this red candle was the retracement that happened and my technicals were telling me that if the retracement is being stopped by this support level then i can take up a long position and i did the same thing i waited for the 11:45 candle to get close because as i always say you have to wait for the closure of the candle because only after the candle closes you will know whether the support level has been respected or not okay so same happened here 11:45 candle closed and it clearly did not breach the support level so it was a strong support level that i was having here that my technicals were showing here right so i took the entry in the 12 o'clock candle okay the 12 pm candle okay and i always enter the trades at the market price okay so my trade was taken up at around 483.10 rupees okay that that was the price at which i entered a long trade in star okay so i saw that the support level was respected and then i was getting a green candle so i took a market order and my order was executed at 483.10 paise okay and then it's time for me to set the stop loss okay if you remember from yesterday's video for a 500 rupees script okay the max stop loss i recommend is one percent of the script price right i'm sorry about this let me take it off uh right so i was talking about the stop loss so for a 500 rupees script the stop loss that i would recommend is around four rupees 50 paise or five rupees so now here my entry was at 483.10 okay let's round it up to 483 so a good stop loss for me would be around 479 or 478.50 okay 479 let's take it as 479 so this here here will be my stop loss 479 right and once you enter the trade and once you have placed your stop loss now it is time for you to wait for the move to happen and my target was as i said since i was trading a 480 to 500 rupees script i was targeting uh, around 4 rupees 80, 80 paise to 5 rupees as my uh, profit points okay so i took the entry at 483.10 uh, at the 12 o'clock candle and uh, i got the move at the 130 candle okay 130 candle is when i booked my profit okay now the question is why did i book my profit at 488.10 uh, 
1.10 or 488.15 okay i would have waited uh, I, if i if i would have wanted then i would have waited more and i would have been in huge profits right i mean my entry was at 483.10 and this guy moved till like uh, uh, let's not consider this candle because it is a 515 candle let's consider this candle uh, this guy moved up to let's say 530 okay so 30 rupees plus 20 rupees a 50 rupees move i would have caught okay and if i uh, and since i was trading with uh, 8000 shares if i would have waited for a 50 rupees move it would be a profit of around 4 lakh rupees right but the question here is why did i come out of the trade at 488.15 the first reason i have is i was not really uh, monitoring it live okay i took my entry i set my stop loss and i set my target as well okay 488.15 uh, was the target because it was around 4 rupees 50 paise or 5 rupees of the script price right so that is where i placed a limit order okay to sell when it reaches 488.15 as i said since i was busy i was not monitoring the script manually okay that is the reason why i booked it at 488.15 and i was a happy man to earn around 41 uh, 41000 rupees here okay now the second scenario is if i wouldn't have been busy okay if i would have been uh, you know scanning uh, the script price in the live market okay then what i would have done okay in that case i would have actually booked my profit at the day's high so that would be around 493 or 494 okay that would be the place where i would have actually booked my profit if i would be seeing the charts live okay if i wouldn't have been busy okay 493 or 494 would have been the place where i would have booked my profit okay now remember even if i would have booked my profit at 494 it is a huge profit that i would be earning okay it would be around uh, 80,000 or 81,000 profit, right? So if I would have been monitoring this particular guy live, then I would have booked my profit at around 493 or 494. Reason is the day is high. Now, since we have the day's high here, you see the swing high here, right? The day's high. It might act as a resistance for sure. Okay, and to the matter of fact, it did work as a resistance if you see this candle the 145 pm candle okay it was facing a resistance at the day's high and it actually came down it came down till uh 482.50 okay it's 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 a completely different thing that it again zoomed up okay but we as day traders you never know that this particular guy will give you such a big move right so as a day trader your duty is to is 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 to not to be greedy okay when you are trading a 500 rupees script and when you are trading with 8000 shares and when you see that you have already earned 1% of the stock's price there is no point in being greedy okay 40 to 41000 rupees is huge okay it is like they are people who work for the entire month for that amount okay so that amount is being earned by you in a couple of hours that is how you should be looking at your profits that is how you should be respecting your profits okay so i hope uh, you're clear i hope you're clear why i took the trade uh here why i entered here and since my entry was perfect my stop losses were in control and also i got a lot of time to stay back in the trade comfortably and to book my profits without any struggle okay so this is what i wanted to show you guys okay again just to repeat please make sure that whenever you initiate a trade you have enough patience to wait for the right spot to enter the trade okay please do not enter the trades randomly or else it will screw up everything
your stop losses will be high you will be tensed you will be uh, pushing yourself to book your profits as soon as possible and all all those unnecessary things would be happening with you okay so please make sure that your entries are correct and you trade without any without getting tensed at all okay so this is what i wanted to share with you guys uh, uh, and yeah uh, let me let me just think if uh, i'm missing something here or if i have to explain something else mm no not really okay so that is what uh, should be uh, should be good enough uh, for today's video um, and again i hope uh, you understand the importance of making the right entries okay so you all take care guys you all have a good evening and uh, i will see you all later tomorrow okay in the premium channel and uh, to the youtube guys i will see you all in my next video Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for all your time and patience. I'll take a leave now. Bye-bye.